back everybody so my next movie review for you is the suicide squad so the suicide squad is a 2021 movie directed by james gunn starring margot robbie iris elba we got john cena Sylvester Stallone, plus many others in this next installment we get to see some of the world's greatest supervillains get sent by the u.s government to a remote island to basically sort out some problems and i'm not going to give too much away about the plot line just in case you haven't seen it so, what do I honestly think about this movie? If you can't tell by the smile on my face, I actually got a lot of enjoyment by watching this movie. That being said, there are a couple of problems that really stuck out to me, which I'm going to get out of the way straight away. This movie felt like a movie of two halves, okay? So the first half felt like it didn't really know what it wanted to be, and then the second half it became a little bit more cohesive and stronger and just made it for a better entertainment. The plot line in this is not hard in any way, shape or form, and in fact, sometimes it felt like the plot line was completely non-existent. And in certain parts of the first half of this movie, my concentration did lapse slightly, okay? Not enough for me to stop watching. But apart from that, the plot, you know, it's just, didn't really feel like there was a huge pop there, but I let that off because of what I was watching. Second problem I have is King Shark here. I really think they failed to capitalize on him a lot, okay? Because he's in this movie, and you do see him through this movie, but you never really get to see him do a lot as such. He's one of the strongest members of this Suicide Squad. And I think they failed to kind of really capitalize. I think they could have done a lot more with his character. And when he, he, when he does actually do something, you go, yeah, come on, I want to see a bit more of that. Come on, you know, it's a walking great white shark, for fuck's sake. You know, you want to see him wreak havoc, carnage. And you do see it in certain respects. They touch on it a little bit. But I just think they failed to kind of capitalize on that. Apart from that, that... This movie, I did get a lot of entertainment from it, okay? I really, really did. There are some seriously, seriously funny moments in this movie, okay? There are a couple of jokes which really, really cracked me up and had me in creases. It really, really did. Performances in this movie are pretty solid all the way through. Mainly, Margot Robbie, the Irish Elba, Peacemaker, and the Rat Lady, I can't remember. I haven't got the name written down because I was in such a rush to uh, um, do this review. Those performances were very, very solid. And the great thing is about this movie is that they made a conscious effort to give you a backstory to their characters, which I absolutely love. So you get behind them, okay? You really, really do, and you gather an emotional attachment to the supervillains. Knowing that I spent a lot of my time watching Batman taking down some of these supervillains, you know, you really get, you know, an emotional attachment to their characters. Iris Elba's character in here, Bloodsport, is absolutely fantastic throughout the whole of this movie. He has some great uh, comedic moments as well, and he's just badass in every single way, okay? He really is, and he's scared of rats, which I think is absolutely fantastic. John Cena is extremely good in this. He's extremely funny in certain places, and when it gets to a bit more of a serious part, he does actually play a very, very good role. I have to be honest, as Peacemaker, I think he was really, really good, okay, through this movie. But by far, Margot Robbie, as Harley Quinn, okay? She is, again, absolutely brilliant. I love Margaret Robbie as Harley Quinn. She really does remind me of the animated series Harley Quinn, got that kind of scenario. Yes, I admit I'd like to have seen her with a mallet more than like a spear, but that being said, you know, throughout the whole of this movie, she has some absolutely fantastic fight scenes in this movie. Really, really good, okay? Extremely good. There's a I'm not going to give it away, but when you see it, you know, she is fantastic. It's round about like, say, mid, mid, half, halfway through this movie, she has a really, really good fight sequence and just proper Harley Quinn. It just, I just really enjoyed the character. I really, really did. This, the fight scenes in this, I think were actually pretty damn decent. There were certain points where I felt it was a little bit silly in certain areas, but you know, I kind of expected that to Suicide Squad and all that kind of stuff. And there was some, there's quite a lot of violence in this movie. I, do you know what? I just, it's an absolutely fantastic movie, and I'm going to give this a very, very strong 9 out of 10. You can tell that I like it, and it is a good movie, but there are a couple of problems with it. I don't need to keep going through it, because I generally 
You got behind the main characters, which I love. They, gave, they consciously made an effort to give you a backstory to these characters. And you, towards the end of this movie, you're just like that. You're rooting for these super villains. You're like, yeah, here we go. You know, these are super villains, all right? Okay, they're not goodies. They're the anti-heroes. You know, they are villains. Okay, I spent a lot of time watching Batman take down some of these villains as well. And, you know, you get behind their characters. And you get behind their characters as well. Because I even felt myself a little bit emotional towards the end to do with Bloodsport and Daughter at the end. There's a proud moment there, you know. And I just generally really enjoyed what they did, okay. Visually, it looked really, really good. It's got probably a great soundtrack in this movie, okay. Throughout the whole of this movie, it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, seriously got a lot of enjoyment and I'm glad I went into this blind because I didn't know what to expect. I kind of knew what to expect because it's a suicide squad but where I didn't watch a trailer or anything like that or I didn't read anything about it I think there were a lot of enjoy I just went into this completely blind and I just literally enjoyed it so so much. So on that note I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. So on that note I said that right I'm quite excited actually because I really really enjoyed this movie. On that note, please tell me what you think. Put it in the comments down below as normal. Hope you all have a great rest of the day, whatever you're doing. Please take care and goodbye.